Today is my first day at the construction site. I got my equipment and now I'm going on the site. I was stressed, but Terry, the site manager, was there to make sure everything went well. Well, Robin, on a construction site there are a lot of things to do, but be careful, it's also very dangerous. That's why the first thing you need to learn is how to work safely. There are five rules of life, five rules to know by heart. Mm -hmm. First rule, shared vigilance. To secure a site, it takes a team effort. We must constantly watch over each other. Mm. Look, what is wrong with this shovel? It is dangerous. Someone could fall and get hurt. You're right. Even if it's not yours, you pick it up. We are all responsible. Shared vigilance. I get it. Good. Second rule is the concept of imminent risks. It's simple. If you are facing a situation that seems dangerous, don't hesitate to stop everything. Here, let's imagine. Let's imagine. You're working on a site, and you suddenly see a machine making a dangerous maneuver. Hey, stop! Stop, stop, stop! Stop! Stop, stop, stop! What you did was perfect. You prevented a serious accident. If there is an imminent risk, you must intervene immediately and then alert your manager. You must never hesitate. You need to understand how it happened and how to prevent it next time. Here, let's review the scene. Did you notice anything? The cell phone. Here comes the third rule. You must never use your cell phone outside a secure area. On a construction site, you must always be concentrated. But that's not all. Notice anything else? No. The sound. Listen. Hmm. There is no backup alarm on this kind of vehicle? Exactly. There are a lot of safety systems on our equipment. And backup alarms are one. They are here to protect us. So we must never modify, nor deactivate, nor bypass them. That is the fourth rule. All right, but why would I voluntarily deactivate a reverse alarm? That's a little bit stupid. Sometimes the intention may be good. The other day, a worker turned off the alarm to avoid disturbing the neighborhood. It was totally irresponsible. Come on, let's go get some coffee. Hmm. Here. Now the fifth rule. You must never come to a construction site under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Let me tell you something. I had this guy, 15 years in the business. He came to work drunk. We were unloading pipes and he had hung the sling incorrectly. When we lifted the load, the sling snapped and the pipe fell on his legs. Six months off. He was lucky. It could have been way worse. That is why it is important for you to know these five rules of life. Being professional means working safely. What matters the most are our lives. When you understand that, you know everything. Understood. Come on, let's keep going. Okay. Let's sum up. There are five rules of life. The first one is shared vigilance. I must constantly watch over my own safety and that of others. The second one is imminent risks. I must interrupt or stop all activity in the event of imminent risks. The third one is never deactivate, modify or bypass a safety system. The fourth rule is no cell phone outside a safety area. The fifth rule is no drugs, no alcohol. Okay. No, well, I got it.